What's up guys, TJR here coming to you from the world's messiest RC setup. Um, as you can see, the weather is slightly better than it has been. Uh, we've got some clear pavement and I've been dying to get the uh, Skeeter out. So Teddy and I are gonna take the Skeeter out for another run. Um, so I've done a few things to this. Uh, number one, a, a couple uh, simple things, made sure all the screws were all tightened up, good to go, no issues there, came fine from the factory. I taped off the holes on the interior of the rims here, just because I don't want any water getting in there, could ruin the tires. Um, I turned up the punch settings on the Skeeter to four, from factory it comes uh, at three, and uh, what else did I do? I turned down the brakes. The brakes are set to 75%. I turned them down to, I think it's 62 and percent. And that seems to be uh, the good spot that everyone's kind of talking about. So we're gonna go out and test that today. Also picked up a few things here. Picked up a fan uh, for the motor, which we will install later. There's a little slot there for it to go. And I picked up the 15 tooth pinion, which I think we're gonna install to get a little bit more speed out of this and get some more wheelies. But we'll see how the punch setting and uh, the brake setting works today. You ready to go, Ted? We are gonna head to some open pavement and possibly if there's enough uh, snow gone from the skate park, we'll take it there for a quick rip too. Hopefully hit some jumps too, so let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Forgot to mention we are going with the uh, Ovonic uh, 5000 milliamp 50C batteries, 4S, really nice hard pack batteries from Ovonic. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, fits perfectly in this car, so. Uh, super excited to test these guys out. Okay, now we're ready. Look at this. Couldn't be happier. We've had so much snow melt in the past couple days here. Finally able to drive in some of my regular spots. Tons of asphalt here, tarmac. Ted, you want to go set the jump up here? This is one of our cheap beat up jumps that I found at a garage sale a few years ago. Set it up right on the curb there, Ted. So the top part's on the curb, so we can kind of launch off the curb for some more height. So today we're filming with, I get a lot of questions on this. This is the um, um, the Insta360 Go 2. Uh, I've been filming RC with this for a long time. Uh, a lot of YouTubers are now using this. Uh, great for on-car footage. This will attach nicely to the remote. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me. It's getting a little bit windy out here, but get some good footage for you guys of the Skeeter. And the wind is picking up big time. Four cells of power. Just noticed my little bottom part here got a little less sticky. So I have to clean that off and hopefully it'll get sticky again. I'm gonna have to hold it on top. But typically what I do is stick it to the uh, bottom of the radio and then you can stick it anywhere on the car and usually it'll hold on pretty well. Uh, this camera's been great. Got some power. Teddy, uh, Teddy is pretty good at driving now. He's worked his way up to a vehicle like this, but wouldn't recommend this for a uh, beginner. Uh, well, you could actually drive it on 3S, bring the speed down a bit. It should be fine. These things are pretty indestructible, so wouldn't be bad for a beginner. Just uh, you know, make sure you're always monitoring them. It'll break an ankle if you're not careful. Bring it in for a pit stop. She's a beauty. So it'll wheelie a bit now, right? Let's see. There we go. You can 
see a little ballooning on those tires. If we're going uphill, it should wheelie here real nice. Okay, so with that punch setting set to four, we are getting some wheelies, so that's good. Maybe we don't need to go to the 15 tooth. We're de definitely getting enough speed here. It's got plenty, plenty of torque on this guy. Totally enjoyable speed. The uh, tires hold up great on asphalt like this in a parking lot. They're great. They don't balloon too much. Let's hit that jump. Hopefully we didn't land in dog food. Don't think we've quite got enough for a backflip. Oh, sorry, Ted. <laughs> Bit of a whip. Let's see how long we can hold the wheelie for. That gets a bit squirrely. There we go. Not bad at all. Take it back, it is not nose diving. I don't know what I was talking about. I think the first jump kind of nose dive because I was laying off the trigger completely. Um, it's actually jumping quite nice. I probably don't need as much throttle as I thought. Kind of just lay off the throttle. It's driving quite nice right now with that punch setting of four. Doing some wheelies. I, I think this might be perfect. I don't know if we'll need that 15 tooth. I mean, Corrali, Corrali knows a lot better than I do. If they put a 13 in there, they did it for a reason. But I don't know, if you wanted some more top end speed, you could easily put a 15 in there and I think it would be totally safe. But I don't know, she's driving really nice really enjoying this truck i know teddy told me it's one of his favorites if not his favorite My spotter here, Teddy, just informed me that that last jump almost landed directly in this big pile of poo. Don't be this person. You take your dog to a park, pick up your dog crap. Lots of goose poop around here too, Ted. Ugh. But you can see the distance we got on that jump all the way up here. It's my first time jumping this guy and uh, I'm impressed. You need to stay on the throttle. It tends to uh, nosedive slightly, so you gotta keep that throttle on. Yep. Looks 
upside down. Gonna need a wash. We got Teddy on the camera. Hi. He's gonna try and keep it as steady as he can. But uh, just bear with that footage. Don't cover the lens, Ted, with your finger. I'm not. We're going for the big one. We're gonna see if we can get a backflip out of this guy. Yep. What do you think's gonna happen? You think I'm gonna land the backflip? Or do you think we're gonna land right on top here? Uh, how do we land right on top? If we don't land the backflip, at least we'll get a durability test, right? Yeah. yeah! Didn't land it, didn't quite have enough. Landed right on our roof, like I said. But you see that bounce, so we have a brace under here, Ted. Yeah, and it bounced it. right off it. You can see how well that worked. It landed right on this foam and it just kind of bounced right back on its feet. Yeah. This thing does a great job of protecting. All right, guys, that's it with the Skeeter today. Absolutely loving this truck. Um, quickly became one of our favorites. Uh, handled super well. The punch setting set at four is uh, pretty darn near perfect. Brake setting was perfect, knocking that down one to 62.5%, uh, I believe it was. This thing is dialed in. Stay tuned for future videos. I'll be putting a, uh, I'll try out that 15 tooth pinion, add that fan, we'll see how it runs. Once again, I want to thank team Corrali for sending this over for us to check out check out the links in the description below to their social channels and the uh, website where you can learn more about this guy or grab one for yourself thank you guys so much for watching and until the next episode